for millions of kids. That was their gateway introduction to jazz, to that tune, to that group. Pieces of the Dream here on members supporting Jazz 90.1 and Jazz 901.org. Of their group is in the place to be, at least until one o'clock today, anyway. Then on the other side of midnight, our trivia, our week long tribute to Herbert Jeffrey Hancock continues as we're going all week long on the late show celebrating Herbie Hancock, Mr. Chameleon, turning 81 to so play Mike with your things from A to Z. So, yeah, <laughs> a lot of it. It's jam time, Jazz Appreciation Month. Of April, we are celebrating luminaries who made this music possible, and folks who are in the trenches continuing to make music possible. In this case, both the man, the founder of Peace of a Dream, Mr. James Lloyd. James, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Hey, James, hang on a second. Hello, hello. All right. There we go, thank James. There we go. Take two. So, James, thank you for joining us this afternoon. How's it going? I was doing great, man. Going, going well, going well. And in spite of, shall in we? In spite of, yeah, that's all. Yes. Talk, actually, in spite of, and yeah, actually, well, let's get into it, James. So, how can music continue to hoist our spirits and, and give us hope, in your opinion? Well, I think the 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 answer is in the question itself. Music itself does give us hope and lift our spirits. Uh, I think it it can be. Uh, a wonderful healer, uh, a wonderful motivator, and um, it's something that brings people to together. Um, so it's it's one of the constant standards through one of the most historic times of of the of our of our the history of our planet, mm. actually. You know, we are, you know, there's, there's no taking us any any other way or lightly. This is, these are historic times that will be talked about through, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years in, into the future that, uh, uh, that we're going through right now. Um, and through this all, music is one of the mainstays that, that is just still there. And a constant and a necessity and and welcome. Um, so, yeah, th that's it's it's power in itself. Speaking with James Lloyd on Jazz ninety point one. So James, I've been asking every everybody I've spoken to, how, what did you learn about yourself during last year? Everything that, that happened. What did you learn about yourself? Um, if I'm being honest. Absolutely. Nothing new. <laughs> I learned that uh, I've learned that oh, okay. Hi. I'm still as crazy as ever. Yeah. I learned that I still love to uh, write and, and create music and that uh, I like watching uh, uh, TV and and crazy movies and funny <laughs> movies and just out stuff, and nice. I love to cook, and um, yeah, and spending time with my wife, and we pr pretty much do all of that together, you know, and so <clears throat> excuse me, so for us, it this time has not been so much of a curse because you know if you got two people that don't like each other and then now you're trapped up in the house together all the time then that's not such a great thing but you know if you got two people that are you know crazy about each other and just have fun and just get silly with each other and enjoy each other's company and do and and can also do nothing together and enjoy that then you, you know you're living a blessing so that's that's how i feel that you know, during these times. Um, but the, the thing is to make it relevant for everyone else, you really just make the best of it for yourself. You know, you, everybody owes it to themselves to make the best of each day. And, and that's, that's all you got. You know, yeah. if nothing yeah. else, if no one else is doing that for you, and then make sure you do it for yourself. You know, make wow. it nice for yourself. Yeah. And then just listen to some music while you're there, at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the 90.1, you know, WGMC. That works. That absolutely <laughs> that works. Makes your day. 
absolutely, absolutely. You can you can have a job in this business. You never need to tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> speaking with James Lloyd on Jazz 90.1. So James, I was saying before we went out of the air that we have a whole new world of listeners who who discovered jazz for the first time. They don't know anything about the music, though. They don't know anything about Grover, Washington Jr., Pieces of a Dream, Wes Montgomery, Billy Holiday. They're completely new to this music. And they love it because of one reason, it makes them feel good. So what advice would you give new people to the music who are just discovering it for the first time? Well, I would say um, just immerse yourself in, th there's gonna be a plethora of things uh, for you to listen to that are in various genres. And jazz covers a very wide base from you know, the straight ahead to the bebop, and then you go back to Billy Holiday and Wes Montgomery, but then forward to Grover Washington Jr. and then Pieces of a Dream and and Spira Gyra who and and the Jazz Crusaders, you know, who almost I, I think helped create the genre smooth jazz itself. You dig? Um and there's there's things beyond that that uh, you know there are people that are current and uh, they're doing just wonderful things with music and 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 their artistry and different instruments and it's it's a lot more available now than there was in the beginning so that's that's just a, a such a great avenue for for many artists to display what they have. With James Lloyd on Jazz 90.1. James, this is April, it's Jazz Appreciation Month. And as a band, it's their 45th anniversary, and you've been able to introduce millions of folks into this music, into this world by just taking what's happening now and making it work for them. That being said, we're a jazz station, as you know. Why should people support jazz radio in your opinion? Well, I mean, that is our our, our Native American culture, <clears throat> jazz music. And um, that is something that we can call our own and, and we can cultivate and, and it's, it's can be, it can be motivational to adults as well as young folk. I mean, you, you look at the number of people that are into jazz and uh, how we got into this, even as pieces of a dream in our early days was through school, through middle school and high school. Uh, through music programs. And that's where things like this all start, um, where cultivation of the arts start uh, when people are young, whether that's music or any anything else artistically. It's funny you mentioned that, James, because I was thinking about that, because this station started back in the early to mid-70s from high school kids who actually want to do what you were talking about, connect people with the music and music with us and here we are almost 50 years later so uh, yeah that's exactly mm. it. Yeah, yeah speaking with james lloyd james so for you how's 2021 looking and the band 2021 let's see well uh i guess 2020 was was not as good uh, okay. 2021 is, uh, you know we're kind of easing easing into it <clears throat> um I must say, uh, a little, uh, a little hesitantly, you know. Um, sure. Um, I guess I'm sure, understandably so. Um, but we're looking. We're not writing 2021 off altogether, obviously, and we're looking very much forward to 2022. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you'll probably see a, a lot more of, of, of Pieces of a Dream's presence in the 2022. Um, so, yeah. Speaking and we're working on a new project right now. So you'll be, you'll be hearing of that uh, uh, very soon. Uh, we'll be releasing that this year, um, uh, this summer. So, uh, yeah. Outstanding speaking with James. It'll Lloyd, be James. our twenty our twenty fifth release. Is that is that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. That, that indeed. Hey, it does happen. It does happen. Speaking with James Lloyd. James, again, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Best wishes to you, the band, Pieces of the Dream, and everybody in the crew. We really appreciate.
appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you, my brother. Yeah, you too, man.